In this video, I want you to practice adding and subtracting numbers with decimal points. Get yourself a communicator. I want you to copy problem one on your communicator. I want you to pause the video, solve the problem, and then unpause it to check your answer. Go ahead and pause now. In this problem, you have three numbers that you're adding together. For each number, you need a decimal point. With the 12, I don't see a decimal point, so you have to remember that if you don't see the decimal point, there's one behind it. And now I know that there's a decimal point behind the 2. The 1 goes in front of the 2. For the next number, I see that the 0 is in front of a decimal point, and the 5 is behind it. I see the 3 is in front, and the 1 is behind it. I'm adding these numbers together. I need an equation line. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in this empty spot with a 0. Okay, and now I can add them. 0 plus 5 plus 1 is 6. I need a decimal point in my answer, and I line it straight down. 2 plus 3 is 5, and 1 plus nothing is 1. The answer is 15 and 6 tenths. Here's your second problem. Go ahead and write it down. Pause the video, solve it, and then check your own work. Pause it now. In this problem, I can see there's two numbers, so I need two decimal points. I don't see a decimal point behind the 3, but I know there's one behind it. So I'm going to make sure there's a decimal point behind the 3 in the problem as well. And then the 1 goes in front of the decimal point. The 2 and the 7 go behind the decimal point. This is a subtraction problem and I need an equation line. I'm going to fill in my empty spaces with zeros. And then I'm going to subtract. I have to borrow from the 3, make it a 2, and the one that I borrowed goes in front of the 0, making him a 10. Now I'm going to borrow from the 10, make him a 9, and the one that I borrow is going to go behind it. 10 minus 7 is 3. 9 minus 2 is 7. The decimal point in my answer goes in a straight line below there. 2 minus 1 is 1. Your answer is 1 in 73 hundredths. Okay, we're going to do it again. Go ahead and erase your communicator. Write down the next problem, and you pause it while you're solving it, and then unpause it to check it. Go ahead and pause it. I see three numbers in my problem, so I need to have three decimal points down here. I see that the zero is in front of the decimal point, the 6 is behind it, and the 2 is behind the 6. I don't see a decimal point in my next number, but I know there's one behind it. So I'm going to make sure that there's one behind it in this problem, too. The 2 goes in front of the decimal point, the 0 goes behind the decimal point, and the 2 goes behind the 0. This is an addition problem, so I'll put the addition sign and I need an equation line. I'm going to fill in these empty spaces with zeros. Two plus two is four. Six plus zero is zero. I need a decimal point in my answer, so I'm going to line it up. Four plus two is six. My answer is six and 64 hundredths. Good job.